Today, let's use what we have learnt in addition to solve word problems. We will call these word problems as addition stories. These stories give us some information. Then they ask us to find something. We have to understand clearly what the information given is and what we have to find out. Then we have to find the answer. Let us begin with this story. There are four brinjals in the basket. Mother puts two more brinjals in the basket. How many brinjals are there altogether? First, we read this story. What information does it give? Four brinjals are in the basket. Two more are put in the basket. Now, let us see what we have to find out. How many brinjals altogether? Remember, when the words in all, altogether, and totally come in the story, then we have to add the numbers given in the information. So, we add four brinjals plus two brinjals is equal to six brinjals in all. There are six brinjals altogether in the vegetable basket. And we found the answer. Now, let us look at different addition stories and solve them. This toy store has many different toys. There are two yellow robots and two green robots on the shelf. How many robots are there in all? Now, let us see what information we have and what we have to find out. Information Two yellow robots and two green robots. To find out how many robots in all? In all, that means we have to add. So, two yellow robots plus two green robots is equal to four robots in all. There are four robots in all on the shelf. Here is one more story. Rinky went to the cow shed. She fed grass to four cows and three buffaloes. How many animals did she feed totally? Totally means we have to add the numbers given in the information. Hence, four cows plus three buffaloes is equal to seven animals in all. Rinky fed seven animals in all. Wasn't it fun to add with stories of brinjals, robots and animals? <laughs>